RSS is a standard that was widely advocated by Aaron Swartz of MIT and it's a good data format as far as I can tell in the many years I've, I've looked at it that provides a good mechanism for expressing change in information and it is a simple enough format you have a website a web, a web endpoint and you have data residing there and you pull in the the information in RSS format and you, par you parse it, you process it and use it as, as, as you need. And so here is an opportunity to define an interface and a module for the download or the access of RSS information and the question is what do you do with that information once you download it? The correct answer in this case is you don't do anything with that information if you want to define your network retrieval interface the right way. Though we all lament the loss of data, when it comes to maintaining a module that accesses the network and retrieves information, that module needs to do its one job and do that one job very well, and that is access the network, retrieve information, and hand it off. And once it hands it off, it's done. It closes that connection to the network, and it's there available. That module is there available for the next process or code instruction that needs to use it. And so you could say that the module is designed to be stateless. The data, the RSS data on a given website is accessed through this module. And curl is used verbatim from the curl website. Um, the curl website, I think it is called curl everything. And they have an example of the code that you would write for curl in order to be able to um, download information using curl and using curl as a C API. And the only modification I really made was the user agent string. I did um, quite a bit of research in conjunction with Mozilla Firefox developer tools and the Mozilla um, website developer uh, portal and came up with a relevant uh, user agent string for this application. Anyway, the module is stateless. It grabs the data. It pulls it back. Whoever wants the data, they have exactly one chance to get it, one chance only, and then that's it. And um, by doing it that way, it keeps the module clean, it keeps the interface separated, and there's really only one function to call, and that is um, uh, download RSS feed, right? So download RSS feed basically takes a web address in and it passes a chunk of data out. And that chunk of data is the, um, the data that came back from the website. And it could be XML, it could be plain text, it could be whatever. And it's up to the application to process it um, appropriately. And so this is Read Elf. And again, um, Read Elf is described in the book C slash C compiling by Milan. And um, here I wanted to compile this module by itself just to verify that everything is there. So now that everything's there, we're ready for the next step, which is to use it um, in an application at a future point in time.